So here we are again, amazing 40,000 views in about two months time, totally unexpected, really? <laughs> totally just spontaneously happened, people asking for more. So we are blessed to be here again with a real proper monk who's gone through all sorts of things in life, going to different countries, as we know, living in US, East Coast, West Coast, rock and roll, all of that. Now we have a very current situation in life happening where tens of millions of families are being actively dissolved mm -hmm. as a disease, like a proper virus thing, mm -hmm. where, you know, a husband finds a younger bird and walks off, leaves, abandons his mm -hmm. children, abandons his wife. And we also get the other way around, yeah. uh, where uh, apparently 40% of uh, domestic violence victims are actually men whose wives find another guy and then to disguise that, mm -hmm. invent kind of violence. He said, oh, all kinds know, of false accusations. False allegations, malicious mm -hmm. claims. Mm -hmm. What's your experience on that? Well, on this couch, people are coming with uh, almost the same similar problems. So I'm not saying I've suffered from that, just to be clear. Yeah, and uh, it's a disease of today's life, uh, of today's civilization, to destroy family. Why? Because the family is the last uh, fortress against the uh, today's uh, neoliberal way of living which is actually trying to uh, put under, the, under control every single person on this planet. Those people who are trying to do that, they are very sick and, every, and very evil. But they have all the power of this world. They have technology, they have money, they have medias, they have weapons. And they do not have God. They do not have this feeling that they have Heavenly Father, that they have uh, a really, really supreme being who is taking care of them. And when you do not have this feeling, you're feeling afraid, you're feeling alone. When you are with your mother on, on, on marketplace mm -hmm. and suddenly she is away, you do not have grip of, of her hand and yeah. all of a yes. sudden you're, you're alone, you're afraid, you don't know what's happening and you're ready to do anything to protect yourself mm. because you think that you are in, in, in danger but you're not mother is there he just went to another to another store to buy some potatoes and yeah. she's watching you yeah you know and uh, those people are extremely extremely afraid and from this fear in their paranoia they think that every person in this world is actually uh, potentially potential enemy and uh, danger to them because they to uh, if they want to feel alive and uh, satisfied they need a lot of material wealth around to consume to feel alive because without Holy Spirit without God's presence you feel dead mm. you feel empty and that's why you need a lot to grab, to grab, to, to, you know, to acquire. And in order to do this, you have to uh, explo exploit immense number of people of this planet. So they have to be under your control. And if single person is not under control, in their paranoia, they're afraid, he could be a pot potentially a uh, threat. threat. So that's why they need to control every person today. Finally, it's possible. Through all these applications, uh, web, webs ar all around. And nobody is actually anymore could be uh, 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 um, not under this surveillance. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and they want to have brains of all of us controlled yeah. and to tell us what to do not to do 
and, and uh, what not to do and to, uh, to um, force us to think as they want. But if we have strong family, in family, this is not that easy for them because it's a strong cell mm. of community. Father, mother and children. Father and mother love each other. Mm. They are working together. They are taking care of their children. And those children are rising healthy with their brains in their head. They think with their brain, not with other brain. Mm. And one day, when this kid grows up in an adult man, he's going to say, hey, you, that's what you do in your parliament. That's not good. Mm -hmm. No, no, I do not agree. And this person is a danger to this person's evil person who wants to hold the whole planet. So that's why nobody has to have free wits, has to be uh, under the control. And so that's why the last fortress is family. So destroy family. And then you hold everybody like this. So when you do not have uh, grandfather, grandmother, uncles, father, mother, who are normal, who are, who, are, who, are, who are taking care of each other, then you're alone and the state is coming and saying, come to us, we're going to protect you, we're going to tell you how, what to do. Father, mother, oh, they are just old-fashioned. Don't listen to them. We are the one who, are, who is going to help, who are going to help you. And when they're helping us, let's not help. Is there like a drug dealer? A really yeah, kind of yeah. I remember when I when I was in New York and I used to live in Harlem. So and uh, once the, the drug dealer is approaching, he says, ah, "Who is taking care of you?" Can you imagine what a satanic phrase. sentence phrase? Who is taking care of you? Who is your dealer? Who is selling heroin to you? Who is killing you? And they use the word care, care, care. Maybe. We love you. We care for you, and it's so hypocritical. So social care system yeah. is a phrase that many people in um, well around the globe actually feel that they do everything except that. Same opinion is about family courts where yeah. judges mm -hmm. are kind of and the lawyers and all these mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. industry in in UK alone is worth twenty billion pounds and they fuel conflict between the parents mm -hmm. instead of saying yeah. keep together it's in best interest of children they seem to be fueled yeah, because they're, 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 they're instructed by those leaders of planet saying uh, the, uh, the, the law and the, justice the law and justice not the same so they say just destroy and act as you care. That's like really bad karma. It's it's terrible. I mean, we are. I'm, I'm trying not to be uh, hundred percent pessimistic, but uh, and some kind of theory of conspiracy mm. of conspiracy. Mm. It's not. It's not theory. It's 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 a real life. It's very much happening. It's, I'm it's happening. Uh, seeing lots of people. Uh, yeah. And this this thing this this the whole this this mess about Corona about COVID. Mm. Is, is a very similar thing. Okay, I'm not saying uh, it's, it's invented in, in some laboratory or something. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Mm. It's there, you know, this, this, it this, exists, this, 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 this damn virus is there, okay, making mess. But those structures, social structures, are misusing this in a terrible way. Yeah, total abuse. Total abuse and finally, they finally have excuse for total control. Mm. Now they can enter any private family apartment and say, "How many of you are?" No, you have to check who is inside. Yeah, you know, you're you're not you're not taking care of others. You're 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 uh, translating disease. Yeah. So finally, they can do total control. You know, total control. They 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 were always trying to get into it, but it was hard because they didn't have that technology centuries ago but as the time was going by there they were progressing in technology 
And now, finally, they have the whole, every mean to do that. And finally, the total control started with 11 September. Oh, 9-11. Yeah, 9-11. It started, and after that, finally, they can do everything under the pretext of taking care and, 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 and watching out for terrorists. But finally, before that, I used to travel as a young man. I'm 60 years old. I used to travel around the world using airplanes and, and, and air, airports. Before 9-11, mm -hmm. it was absolutely uh, impossible for uh, a customer uh, for a custom officer mm. to uh, to get to go with his hand underneath my 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 uh, my, my legs, for example, Whoa. or or just to do whatever he wants. I, I would say, first, uh, uh, sir, excuse me, you cannot you cannot ruin my my my, my, my private dignity or whatever. Yeah, you know, you can I can go through a uh, X-ray and yeah. everything, but you to touch me this way, to take off my shoes and to watch, you know. It was impossible. It was. It was. It, it was. It, you cannot. You. You couldn't. You had. You couldn't have imagined this. Something like this. After 9/11, everything starts under the pretext of taking care, and it. Its culmination is with the COVID. Uh, now they can, under the pretext of taking care, do everything. There is no privacy anymore. Yeah. There is like. Uh... US president which is subject of like total uh, social media um, cancel control yeah, yeah. and all the social media uh, accounts have been suspended mm -hmm. without any valid court order just purely because not. they could do that yeah I'm interested to ask you a question that you mentioned in our previous conversation about uh, paranoia and how you know psychopaths and how these monks used to heal people mm -hmm. and it seems that in these days more than ever before we are living in a very egotistic um, era of uh, narcissistic persons you know they're almost diagnosis of pallia, parental alienation syndrome where one parent against other usually yeah. women but men also would poison their children against their very other parents mm. and then you know uh, also happens a lot uh, with uh, sadly mothers who should you know be the icon of uh, Madonna, there is even a mm. psychiatric term, uh, mother, Madonna, whore, like these are psychiatric terms mm. to ill women essentially who hide behind their motherhood <clears throat> to install terrible software against mm. the children, especially mothers and sons, for example. But mm. the question really is, is it possible for these monks to heal a psychopath? Of course. It's not the monk who does this. God does this. But the monk just dedicated his life to God. And he uh, stepped on his personality completely. He uh, just trying to, as I said, to kill him, to just to, to, to dissolve the old person and to, uh, uh, to give birth to a new person, uh, a sanctified person. So through this sanctification and through this acquiring of the Holy Spirit, he can transfer this to a person who is suffering through a certain uh, system of healing. Can that be done Wi-Fi? Like, you know... What do you mean by that? Monks, for example, I've heard stories. I read in a book, actually, it's a original, it's called In Search of, of Orthodox Spirituality by uh, a sociologist uh, from, originally from Cyprus, mm -hmm. uh, Kyriakos Magrias or something mm -hmm. like that. And he talks about monks in Holy Mountain literally curing cancer Wi-Fi. And I was reading that it just looks like 
wild science fiction to me. No, no, no. It's it's normal. Uh, in 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 past, in in uh, during the during the history, uh, it was it was very often. It it used to happen very often, because there there was a much greater number of monks. Today we have just a small number. Mm -hmm. So when you have great number of people who are doing something, then always some of them would, you know, uh, would uh, uh, how do I say uh, would. Um, Prominate, yep. you know, and uh, when you have, for example, in in certain area, for example, uh, five thousand monks. From those five thousand, during the time you're going to have five saints, who have extremely uh, uh, strong powers given from God to to help others, not just to to act. I can do this. I can do that. No, they would never actually. Uh, make show out of it. They would always do this. Do this when when they were forced and begged, help, help, heal my child, and they would perform miracle. They would never perform miracle just for miracle, to be applauded by others, and they were always trying to hide themselves because when you uh, project yourself too much, then you can lose it mm. because you become. Uh, proud of it, the conceit is coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, monks, yes, monks, uh, yeah, on holy mountains and on holy mountain, Athos, and uh, on other places, when the monk, when a monk lives serious life, because you you have many kinds of monks. You know, I'm talking about serious monks mm -hmm. who are really leading the the rule. How? The uh, a real Christian monk, let's say Orthodox monk, mm. should live in order to acquire the gift of the Holy Spirit. First of all, to heal to heal himself, and then to try to heal others. So when you when we heal ourselves first, as in Gospel says, uh, physician, heal yourself first. Mm. How are you going to heal other? Other person, if you're diseased, you're just gonna give him your your your, your microbes back. So like an airplane, you first fit yourself a mask. That's and right, and then help, help the children. Then, yeah. then, then help the child. So when uh, a monk lives serious, uh, very uh, uh, harsh way of life, uh, when he really sacrifices mm -hmm. his uh, earthly. Uh, cares and, and wishes, pleasures, pleasures. when he makes selection of, of what, you, what is really necessary and what is just a wish, just a, a fantasy. You know, we say what, uh, what is uh, what is uh, želja i šta je potreba. What is a wish and what is a need? The what, is niš, what is wish and what is need? Wish can Wish can 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 uh, uh, get crazy, and need is always just need. So when you when a monk lives through many years, many decades, this way of life, uh, through uh, great sacrifice and through uh, getting rid of everything which is not important in the way towards God, then there are three levels. First level is uh, cleansing, mm. which is called uh, uh, never mind. Is there like a detox? Yeah, it, it's it's catharsis. Catharsis. Catar catharizo. In Greek means I, I clean myself. Okay. The second level, which is above this one, is enlightenment. Mm. Being enlightened with God's uh, uh, grace, and then uh, your thoughts are full of light. Before that, for example, a regular man or, or woman, close him or her in room and keep him there for 24 hours and ask 
tomorrow morning, what kind of thoughts did he have? Mm. And he would say, how many terrible things came to my mind. Just worries and, and mm. some crazy ideas and something that I don't know where, where does it come from. Yep. Because we are under the influence of evil spirits. Mm. When you enter the level of uh, fotismos, the enlightenment mm. in Greek, fotismos, then fotismos. you clean your soul and then you have bright ideas, bright thoughts, like dolphins on, 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 on uh, how, how the Holy Fathers say, like dolphins are coming out of, of beautiful, uh, uh, calm, uh, blue sea. Like these beautiful thoughts are just coming. And you don't know where, does, where do they come from. But they're just great and you feel good because you're enlightened. And in Far East philosophies, they think and they put this enlightenment as a supreme uh, goal. It's not that supreme one. This is just the second one, the middle one, the middle one. The third one is mm -hmm. theosis, mm -hmm. divinity, divinization, acquiring the Holy Spirit, and then the Holy Spirit works in me, and I just let myself be led by the Holy Spirit. And this is when Saint Apostle Paul says, "This is not I that." is living anymore but the Christ lives in me and does everything for me I just have to let him do that and I am possessed but not with evil anymore mm. and it's good to be possessed by, but by the light the goodness the God and we are, when you are possessed by Christ that's paradise even with this life so that kind of person even in the, on, in the middle way, in, 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 when he acquires enlightenment, he can help with good uh, advices and leading you towards healing. But when somebody is divinized, then God helps you. God heals you through this person. And he can really uh, uh, help you to get rid of many bad things that they are burdening us in this life. So it's absolutely possible and normal thing that the holy person and the, uh, the, the monk who progressed can help much, much, much more than a, than a psychiatrist. Because psychiatrist learned in books what to do and in those books very problematic science. But the monk who saved himself, who went through his personal hell, can lead you through your hell towards the exit, which is called paradise, even in this life. So he's just experienced, like those, like those Sherpas in Himalaya. They can lead you because they went through these Himalayas many times in their lives. Mm. And it seems like impossible mission, but they know. The monk is the one who went through personal hell and we are all the same. We are all brothers and sisters. Every man and every woman are brother and sister. Mm. We are from the same bone and same blood, from the same God. And when you go through this, you know human soul. You can help, you can heal without books. I actually met a man who is a monk and uh, his wife like you mean ex-wife well at the time his wife uh -huh, like time. accused him of some you know just invented like domestic violence stuff he yeah. got arrested yeah. he got that taken away from his children mm -hmm. and um, i know those stories he went and he prayed and uh, he didn't go to any courts or anything like mm -hmm. that he just went into church he prayed, he became a monk, and they all kind of came back mm -hmm. to him. And uh, I have to say, it's like, well, mind-blowing <laughs> to meet and talk to him, to his children, to his ex-wife. Really? 
and even to the grandchildren. Yeah, beautiful. It is well mind blowing. It's a something. It's, it's a it's a power of prayer. I'm a witness of that that does not exist in any law books, and I have intention and ambition to introduce it over there because mm -hmm. I feel that will heal the conflict which is artificially created in the yeah. first instance. Yeah. Destroys families, destroys mm -hmm. health, destroys mm -hmm. wealth, mm -hmm. and it's a total destruction, really. Yeah. And to see that feels mind blowing, as I mm -hmm. said, it's truly awesome. Truly mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lost this uh, feeling of importance of prayer and of power in prayer. You know, people are saying today, ah, what are you, what are you doing? You're sitting somewhere in some in some mountain and then praying no no don't do that come to the world go feed hungry uh help poor go to india go to i don't know maybe i can do maybe i can feed 10 people 100 people thousand people but i cannot feed everybody i cannot help one poor person two two of them 15 of them but i'm not a billionaire mm -hmm. but through a prayer I can help whole humanity if wow. my prayer is strong enough. And some say that uh, just because of prayers of some holy person, uh, uh, people, this planet is still spinning around and, 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 and still alive. I have heard that. And I'm going to try to acquire that power. It's a challenge, but it's worth taking it up. I think this this is the only one only thing in this world that is really worth of giving all your strength of your being to, to acquire this and then everything is going good. Main man in the house proper real alive. Stay up high.